Hey everybody, my name's Emily and I'm a naturalist here at Grass River Natural Area. Maybe you've been here to Grass River before, maybe you have never been here. But Grass River Natural Area is a really big 1,492 acre preserve here in Antrim County near Bel Air. Um, and it's full of lots of different kinds of plants and animals and mushrooms. Um, and so today we're gonna discover some of that. So, before we get started, let's notice our, the area we're in. What do you notice about this place? What are you wondering? So maybe you noticed that the boardwalk is kind of wet from last night and this morning's rain. Maybe you noticed the sunlight coming down through the treetops. Maybe you heard some bird song. Um, but what I really noticed was how green this place is and how many different kinds of plants there are. And all of the plants look so different. And I'm starting to wonder if looking different and looking in a specific way, having specific kinds of structures help these plants survive in this environment. And so I'm starting to wonder about the plant adaptations here. And adaptations just means structures or parts of living things or behaviors of living things that help them to survive. So let's think about that for a second. What parts do plants have that help them to live or that help them to reproduce? So I bet that if we look really closely at plant structures, we can start to figure out how they help the plant survive. So I'm gonna collect just one plant part and I'm gonna take it with me um, so when I get to a comfortable spot, I can take my sketchbook out and really look at it closely and start to ask questions about how it helps the plant survive. So I'm gonna now invite you to also go outside and collect just one plant part. It could be a leaf or a bud or a cone, a seed, any type, any part of the plant that might help the plant survive. So here's my plant part. Now I'm going to journal about it and when I'm journaling I'm going to make sure to use both drawings and words and I'm going to pay close attention to the details and the structures and I'm going to write down any questions that I have about this leaf. First I'll just draw the overall shape which is kind of egg shaped kind of with a point at the top. And I'm noticing that it has some spiky edges actually right near the top, so I'll add those in. Um, and it has a nice center vein running down the middle and kind of a thick stalk at the bottom. And it has some veins coming off the side here. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four on that side. And they kind of curl up at the edges. Three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. And I'm noticing that 
that this leaf is very dark green. So I'll add that dark green. And it's very glossy. It kind of shines in the sunlight. Um, and feeling it, it feels really thick. And I wonder why that is. So I'll write that as a question. Why is it so thick? And let's see, anything else? Wow, well, I just smelled the leaf and it smells kind of minty. And so I'm wondering about that too. All right, so there's my journal page. Now, when you're doing this, remember to pay close attention to the details, the structures. It's not about making a pretty picture. It's about being as accurate as possible about what you're seeing and feeling and smelling. Um, and make sure to use words as well as pictures. Um, and re remember to write down any questions that you might have. So hopefully you have a nice um, drawing and some written observations on your journal page now. And so to start answering those questions that I hope you've written down too on your journal page, let's try to figure out what type of plant we um, took apart from, what type of plant you're looking at. So I noticed that when I picked my plant, there was a small red berry um, attached. So I'm gonna use the field guide wild berries and fruits but if you have a tree, um, you could use a field guide about trees, um, or you can always use the internet with the help of a grown-up too. Um, so I figured out that my plant was a wintergreen plant. The leaves look exactly the same, um, and so did the berries. And so by researching my plant and reading about it, I figured out the answers to my questions. I figured out that um, the leaves are thick and waxy because that helps the plant prevent losing water through its leaves. With that waxy coating, doesn't let the water um, escape through the leaves. Um, so that's one way that this leaf helps the plant survive. Um, also, if you've learned about photosynthesis, you know that leaves being green help the plant, the chlorophyll in those green leaves help the plant capture the energy from the sun and they can make sugar out of that for their food. So that's another way that leaves help the plant survive. Um, and then my other question about why the leaf spelled minty, I figured out it's because it's wintergreen and wintergreen um, leaves have an oil in them that actually wintergreen gum is made out of. So. Um, that answered my other question. So now I invite you as our last task to um, try and figure out what kind of plant you have and then from there try to figure out the answers to your questions in your journal and how that plant part helps the plant survive. So thanks everybody for joining me today for this virtual field trip from Grass River Natural Area. I hope you learned um, about plants. And remember, you can come here to Grass River Natural Area anytime. Um, the trails are open from dawn until dusk every day. Um, and you can come check out all of the cool plants we have here. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day everybody, bye.